Hey Eastern Suburbs fans, welcome back to Extra Time. Today on the show, we have our club patron, Paul Rennell. Paul is a number one Lily White fan and number one member. It's great to have you here, Paul. Thank you, Bonnie. Great to be here. Now we're down here at Newmarket Park, and I hear this was the place to be back in the 60s, 70s and 80s for football in New Zealand. Can you tell us a little bit about what the atmosphere was like here at Newmarket? Certainly, uh, Newmarket Park was the home ground of Auckland Association football, uh, and anybody that played here or came here thoroughly enjoyed it because it was so close and electric with the fans 10 metres away during a game, uh, and it was, it was excellent. And those that have played there always enjoyed coming back to watch a game and no, it was worthwhile. How did the atmosphere kind of compare to what we see at games today in the National League? Well, it was very similar, but way back then, because you were so close to the spectators on the terraces and the stands, it was very, very electric. With all those terraces there, as I say, the people were so close to you, you could hear them talking, and you'd swear to God they were on the field playing with you. But it was a great atmosphere and always enjoyed playing on Newmarket Park. Paul, aside from the atmosphere here, what made Newmarket Park such a special place and ground to play at? Well, playing uh, at Newmarket Park, because the concrete terraces were so long, the full length of the field, and the stand at the eastern end and the stand on the southern side, they really made it a nice little small amphitheatre to play and enjoy football in. Paul, what were some of your most favourite memories of playing down here at Newmarket Park? would definitely be my first game for Eastern Suburbs on the uh, 4th of July 1964 against Blockhouse Bay and we won 4-3 with JD scoring two goals. If it was such a great venue down here at Newmarket Park, the crowds loved it, the players loved it, why did it end? Well, unfortunately, the Southern Bank, the stand, they had a lot of rain for uh, three or four weeks in the uh, 1979 and unfortunately the stand just disappeared down the gully and it affected the actual ground so they couldn't play it anymore but they were very fortunate they had Mount Smart in reserve. Thanks for coming out today Paul it's great to chat to you about Newmarket Park and what a success and what a magic place it was for both the players and the spectators of football in Auckland and New Zealand as well. If you've enjoyed this extra time video subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us closely on Instagram and Twitter. You heard Paul. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We'd love to have you back, our Lily Whites. See you next week.